Hello, in this video I want to show one way you can reuse Flipgrid videos from year to year without having to create a whole new Flipgrid if you want to use the same link that you've assigned in previous years. Now, before I get into that, it is quite easy. If you set up a Flipgrid group already, you can always duplicate the topic, which is a great way to get going to just reuse that same topic. It just gives you a different link. So let me show you for this example right here, the optimization chapter four videos. If I duplicate the topic and I can assign it to my same class, or maybe I want to assign it to a new group that I have for a new year, you can do that to keep things organized. And this is probably the way that most people go about doing things. They do that, maybe they set up a new grid for the school year. You'll see that this is the copy. The topic has been copied over. All my same settings have been copied over. And then I would just press share and I would get this URL in order to share with my new class. So this makes a whole new topic. No responses are on it yet. If though, you want to use the same video link, which sometimes I like keeping multiple years in one video. This is what I do. So let me go back to the one with the 22 responses. Look at it from the student end. So first of all, of course, you could just leave the videos there and allow students to build on. And sometimes I like to do this so that my students from this year can learn from previous students that I've had in my class. So they can watch some of the old videos and then record their own response. A lot of times I'm having students solve all different problems. So I don't mind if they're watching something that somebody in the class previously had recorded. Actually, I love that they can learn from others. So a lot of times I'll do that and they just keep building. But another thing that you can do is you can actually select all the responses and you can go to actions and you can just hide all of the previous responses. So if you hide them all, when I go back and look from the student end, now it looks like nothing is there yet. When the student adds a response, their video would go up on the grid. And then if I want them to learn from the students I had previously, after my new students had responded and I had all the old responses hidden, I can just go back, select all, go to actions and activate all responses. And then I could do like a second part of the assignment and say, all right, now I want you all to go back to this grid and I want you to watch a video from a student that I had in a previous year and critique it. So anyway, that is a way to reuse Flipgrids that you've used in previous years, reusing the exact same topic that you'd set up instead of duplicating it so that you can have a massive grid of students from multiple years responding in one place. And also remembering that you can always toggle on and off their responses. So I can select all, I can hide all the responses, and then I could select all and activate all the responses again to make it so that they have to respond to the grid first without having watched any of the videos that were created in previous years. And then once everybody had tried once, then they can go back and watch a much larger bank of videos than I would have had just in one year. All right, I hope that idea is helpful, that you like it, and that's all for now. Bye.